Refarm is a group of companies. We have six different technologies in the portfolio. One of them is IGS, which is our vertical farm partner from Scotland, from the UK, which basically helps to create a sustainable food security solution. There are multiple problems which we're trying to solve. One of them is how to grow financially feasible food within the harsh region we're in. So we're in the United Arab Emirates. The technology we are using here in the UAE is a 42 square meter footprint tower. Uh, we use two of them in our setup. It's a rather small footprint for the amount of uh, produce we, we, we get out of it. It's around 10,000 kilograms on these two towers. On our big project, which we are developing, we're going to produce uh, more than 3 million kilograms or more than a billion plants uh, out of these towers. So compared to traditional practices, that's a much higher output per square footage or per square meter than you would normally uh, get out. We are using a high-tech version of LED lighting. Uh, we eliminated the white light spectrum. So if you look around the tower, it's either more greenish, bluish, purplish color, but there's no white light uh, per se. One of the reasons is that the white light actually uses 75 to 80 percent of the energy uh, consumed by a vertical farm or vertical tower. So because we're eliminating that, they are able to even further reduce the energy consumption, what we require in this tower. Traditionally, plants have sunlight for around 12 hours a day. We simulate 18 hours a day, which is as much as you can go before the plant being too stressed. We are focused on local species like mangroves or gaff tree or moringa tree. And we also achieve between three to five times faster growth rates by basically applying a third more sunlight during the day than you normally can get in, in uh, our outdoor spaces. So by playing and simulating the weather, it's an extremely controlled environment. So welcome to try a little bit of basil if you want. Yeah, definitely. Good. Rub, rub the oil on your hands. Yeah. You'll find it very intense because effectively we were yeah. trying to grow a small... Can I small... eat it? Yeah. Please do, yeah, yeah, please do. We can make basil taste more stronger or more intensive, or we can make it taste a little bit more bitter or a bit more sour, depending on what varieties we're using. Is it a better product? I mean, it will last longer because of course it's not washed, it's not sanitized. One of the major differences is the use of pesticides. Traditionally, most of the, the food we eat from supermarkets uh, have been treated with pesticides because otherwise you wouldn't have an industrial efficiency outdoors. We don't have to use any pesticides and so we produce a high quality, highly nutritious food in such a controlled environment. It's great to see the collaboration between UK innovation and businesses here in Dubai. Uh, and a great example of that is in vertical growing, where it's supporting productivity in farming, but also doing so in a way that is good for nature, bringing the best science into agriculture in a way that also is good for the planet.